I've learned more things about myself than probably any anything I've ever done in my life. I've always had the heart for volunteerism, but not on this level. It's been life-changing. and Everything from the flying to the accommodations is is rough, you know, rough on your body, rough on your mind, but it's a great opportunity to learn about yourself and like AIO's mantra says, make your life make a difference. One of the main things I actually came away with, I missed my family so And I don't even have a big family. I miss my family so much. <laughs> but I was glad I went. My first reaction was that I was glad I came because I learned I never ever want to come back here again. But I've since changed my mind. I would go back. Gladly, actually. It's awesome, but it's, it's not a cakewalk. Anybody who thinks that you're there and you're just like cruising, it's not a cruise by any stretch of the imagination. I also still felt I should have been able to do more. I thought we would go, we would see things, we would help people. And in actuality, what we got in return was that they actually taught me more than I could even, That's you know, true. consider. That's so the, the work true. that we did there. I mean, we came back with a lot more. My experience was very different from Margie's. I was literally thinking in my head, am I gonna call my mom and Bobby and tell them I'm not coming back? I'm not coming back on the scheduled time, I'm gonna stay longer. It was everything about this experience and it's been explained to us a number of times that AIO Discovery, a portion of it is about helping villagers and helping people less fortunate than us. But more so it's about the company investing in individuals, allowing us to have a global view of things that we would never experience here. And then the hope is that we come back and impact our community. This discovery part of the program has awakened something inside of me that I didn't even know existed. I'm in the process of actually looking for nonprofits that will host me to go back to Diradawa and do long-term field work. And for me to say that, I mean, I'm a local girl. I love my rice and um, family Sam. and everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm thinking of saying goodbye for a while. I've cried every single day since I've been back and I dream about those kids. And what I tell people is that I feel like I've met God's angels on earth. We got to know them and then we had to say goodbye and it was not easy and, and it's still not easy. Um, a fire has been lit. I, don't, I can't explain it. I can't explain my drawback and why I'd want to give up my comfortable lifestyle to go live in the dirt, you know, amongst the donkeys and the cows and the non-Western toilets. But um, I don't know what I'll do and how I'll do it, but I know that I have to do something. And God bless you. <laughs> if you have to travel with somebody, you travel with her. She sometimes swears a little bit, <laughs> but then I'm always crying. <laughs> so it's like, we were like, thank you. <laughs> I think, here we go, here she goes again. I've experienced um, things with Margie and these two other guys from Hawaii that I've never experienced with anybody in my life. So you know, we had Pauhana Ethiopian style. We all acknowledge that had it not been for each other, um, our trip would have been way more difficult and a lot more harsh. I would have been crying all the time. <laughs> I just cried some of the time. But when opportunities are extended to you, just take advantage of it really, really take advantage of it because you can only learn from it. Sometimes you're learning something you don't want to know about or sometimes it's life-changing or sometimes it's just an opportunity. Mm -hmm.